In this video, I'll show you what a midpoint or class mark is. I'll also show you how to calculate it. The class midpoint is a point in the middle of the categories in a frequency distribution table. For example, the first category is a height of 52 to 55. The number right in the middle would be 53.5. You can also find a midpoint on a histogram. It's the center in the middle of each bar. So how do we calculate midpoints? The midpoint is the average of the upper and lower class limits. The lower class limit is the lowest value in a bin or category. The upper class limit is the highest value in the bin or category. So let's do an example. In the first bin, the lowest number is 52. The highest number is 55. So we're going to add those two together and divide by 2 to get the average. When I do that, I get 53.5, and that is my first midpoint. For the second row, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add our upper and lower limits of 56 and 59, and divide by 2. That gives us our second midpoint of 57.5. Let's do one more. We have 60 and 63 divided by 2, is 61.5, and that's our third midpoint. I'm going to continue down the column, adding the two class limits, and dividing by 2 to get each midpoint. Adding the two numbers together and dividing by 2 is a perfectly okay way to find the midpoint. But there is a different way, it's a little bit of a shortcut. After you've calculated the first midpoint, note the difference between the lowest item in bin 1 and the lowest item in bin 2. For this example, the lowest item in bin 1 is 52. The lowest item in bin 2 is 56. That's a difference of 4. Add this number to the midpoint you found in step 1. In other words, you're going to add 4 to 53.5. That gives us 57.5. So I'm going to continue down the column, just adding 4. If I add 4 to 57.5, I get 61.5. If I add 4 again, I get 65.5, and so on down the column. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.